Three, three, two, one, go. Where did Joanne Robinson study? Tuskegee Institute, Howard University, Fort Valley State, then Atlanta University, or Morehouse College? We have one vote. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you tried to click in the, you know, in the quiz that on the Zoom, which is just for us to watch. It won't work there. <laughs> no, it won't. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. I've done that before. Yeah. There we go. The correct answer was C, Fort Valley State, then Atlanta University. Did you get C, Erin? She did. Yeah. Yep. Way to go, Erin. Did you find that on Wikipedia? Sure did. Yeah. <laughs> Here's Wikipedia is my tip. It's part of me. Here's uh, something good to know. If uh, Wikipedia are asking you to donate and you use it a lot, uh, what they want even more than money is people to help out editing. So if you mm -hmm. sign up for a, an account, which I did because I found something on there that didn't match. So oh. I'm actually getting that deep into the history here. Um, so I signed up to edit and then they stopped asking for money. So that's, uh, Me? that's a, all you have to do is create an account and log in and then it just goes away. No. So, yeah. Okay. Cool. Mm -hmm. That is me. Okay, question two. Of what Montgomery organization was she a key political figure? The Women's Political Council, WPC, Montgomery Stands Up, MSU, the Montgomery People's Alliance, MPA, or Montgomery Women for Civic Empowerment, w MWCA. Okay, we have one vote. And now we have two. Correct answer was A, the Women's Political Council. All right. And you have a note, Michael. Oh, can you put it on the screen? Just hit N. Just hit L what? N for the notes. Did you say there was a note? <laughs> um, that, that did not work for me. Oh, okay. You can, there's a, you can click as well. Uh, hang on a second. I think it's one of the, oh, yeah. there. Yeah, so the WPC was a group of upper-class African-American professional women. They were aligned with the Du Bois NAACP uplift ideology. I probably remember that from five weeks ago. I think there's uh, a lot of African Americans were so inter internalized the racism so much they thought they they had to you know civilize themselves. So she was all about that. Uh, it okay, took a while to get to undo. Uh, okay, question three: What happened to her when she sat in a city bus's empty white section? She was arrested. B, she was fired by Alabama State after the city told her employer. C, she was physically thrown off the bus and injured. Or D, she was verbally attacked by the bus driver. We have a vote. Okay. Okay, the correct answer was she was verbally attacked by the bus driver. What's the score, Jen? What's the score? <laughs> Getting there. Am I uh, 
There you go. Great, Aaron. Way to go. Ooh. 19 points separates. All about the learning. Remember that. <laughs> okay. How did the WPC respond in 1949 to Robinson's proposed bus boycott? A, they embraced her idea and launched what would be a key campaign of the civil rights movement, or B, they rejected her proposal telling her that it was a fact of life in Montgomery. We have a vote. Okay. Uh, now we have two. Mm -hmm. I voted B. You, you both voted, voted B as well. Ooh, way to go. <laughs> that is pretty sad that they told her that. Yeah, yeah. But uh, again, they were all about uplift and stuff. They weren't really about taking on uh, segregation. Right. Uh, Yet another cause. Mm. Okay, okay. Question five. Ah, what changed the WPC's mind? Joanne Robinson taking over as WPC president in 1950, the arrest of Claudette Colvin, who wouldn't give up her bus seat, the arrest of Rosa Parks, who wouldn't give up her bus seat. Fear of missing out on the spotlight MLK's Montgomery Improvement Association expected to bring. We have a vote. Okay. And another. I have to go second, Aaron, because I wrote the quiz. I, was... I know. That's <laughs> okay. Whatever prize is up for thing for tonight. Um, if I win, don't worry about it. Yeah. We'll just, for the next one. Yeah, you can re-gift it to the next winner. <laughs> yeah, who, uh, yeah. I volunteer to re-gift oh, it. Oh, I'm winning. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get that last one wrong, Aaron? It was, uh, no. you took over no. as president. What are you talking about? What are you talking about, wheels? Oh no, Aaron's first, okay. I thought it said <laughs> four, four, zero, zero, instead of four, three, five. Turn your monitor like this. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Question six. When the critical mo moment arrived, how did the WPC roll out the bus boycott the very next day? A, with a march down Montgomery's Main Street, followed by a rally outside the transit garage. B, local radio ads. C, local TV ads or D, Joanne Robinson and two students stayed up all night to mimeograph 52,500 handbills. I've actually seen a mimeograph machine, I'm not, I'm not old. We had one in our classroom when I was in grade two, three, four. Yeah, it's like a Xerox, but they're really stinky, lots of chemicals and stuff. Yeah. Ours was a Gestetner brand. I don't think I've ever seen one, yeah. but I can recall. We have a vote. Mm -hmm. Are you finding this on Wikipedia, Aaron? Still? Sure am. Yeah, I kind <laughs> of, I kind of stick into that rather than Google now, because it seems just to be easier for people to find stuff. I, I want everybody to get everything right, so. So, yeah, John John Cameron let her use the uh, Alabama State's mimeograph machine because he worked at the school with her. So that was uh, that was where her worked. That's uh, the university where she taught. Neat. Okay, question seven. What position did Joanne Robinson hold in the Montgomery Improvement Association, which was formed to coordinate the bus boycott? Vice president financial secretary, no official position, served behind the scenes in key ways, or treasurer?
We have a vote. Okay. And I've got mine in. Yeah, it's not Let's like I don't know. There we go. No official position served behind the scenes in key ways. It was um, a conflict with her school. That's what uh, she was kind of worried about there. Mm. So I was just reading here. She was so involved that King took notice in his memoir of the boycott. Mm -hmm. So she was a really key figure behind it, I guess. Yes, she was. Yes, she was. More actually than King. King kind of went in there after to kind of not legitimize, but kind of publicize the work the women were doing, but all the all the real work was being done by women. I'm, I'm amazed at uh, how little the men did. <laughs> yeah. Well, it was secretarial, it was women's work. Mm -hmm. And organizing and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. It's where we shine. Okay, question eight. During the 13 months of the bus boycott, how did the Montgomery police harass Robinson? Arrested her many times, threw a stone through her window, poured acid on her car, or all of the above? Aaron has voted. Yeah, I'm voting all of the above. I'm just reading more on it and wow. That's the police. Yeah, that's the police. Mm -mm. Good. That's the police. There was uh, something we're going to learn about um, probably five or six weeks down the road. Um, there's, there's this thing called the Freedom Rides. I guess um, I don't know all the details, but it seems like riding a bus that's not segregated when you cross a state line was a big deal because different states had different laws. Um, mm -hmm. And when the bus rolled into Montgomery, um, the, the Klan were there to like try to burn the bus down with the people inside and no police showed up until after because they had to change out of their Klan robes and put on the uniforms. And then, <laughs> like, There's a movie on it too yeah. and I've yeah. watched it. Yeah. That's why the police think, well, the police were actually there, but uh, they had to change uniforms before they could actually do anything. And, they uh. after and there was nothing to do. Yeah, it was, uh, wow. hmm. Sorry, Jen, that's way off topic. Okay. Ed, no, it's, it's okay. <clears throat> Question nine. Oh, I thought this was a lightning round. What did Robinson do after resigning from Alabama State in support of a student sit-in? She taught at Grambling College, then at a public school in LA. She took a leadership role in the NAACP. She taught at Atlanta University, or she retired. Erin has voted. I think I'm going to vote A. Good call. Good call. <laughs> that sounds like the right answer. It is indeed. What's the score? What's the score? Excuse What's the score? Me. Oh, it has widened a little bit. Yeah. Way to go. Sorry, Aaron. guys. I'm also got the Jets game on right behind. Oh, zero, zero. Wow. <laughs> and still getting correct answers. Oh, I oh. see. Look at that. Look at that. Multitasker. Sure. Okay, well, this is the last question. It's the lightning round. Go with your gut. One, two, three, go. What was the name? Oh, shit. Sorry. <laughs> what did I oh. click? What was the name of the newsletter Joanne Robinson edited for the MIA? Transit Driver Weekly, MIA Newsletter, Dear Abby, Coffee News, Winnipeg. <laughs> Good grief. It happens. Time has run out. Well, nah. Oh, I didn't get the answer. No lightning there. It was giving me a can't click on it thing. Yeah, so. me too. Yeah, so no nah. point for the lightning round. That was my ah. chance to pull ahead. Oh, well. Not the end of the world. What a creative name, eh? MIA newsletter. 
did anyone see the the newsletter I put in on Facebook? I did. Oh, I glanced at it. I didn't. Yeah. No, it's not that interesting. But. Uh... <laughs> Okay, well, there you have it. Mm -hmm. 42 points separate the wheat from the chaff. <laughs> All right. So what, what, do you, what did Aaron win, Jeb? Uh, to be determined. To be determined. Well, make sure it's something that can mail. Yeah. Well, we whatever you were mail. thinking of, just leave it for the next quiz, and then it okay. can just go. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. We've got it. We've got to pay it forward. I will pay it forward. We'll pay it forward. Thank you very much, Erin. You're welcome. All right. I just figured, you know, keep it when we have more of us. <laughs> All right. Well, I want to watch the Jets game. So yeah. Okay. <laughs> From what I was seeing, it looked like it was getting interesting. So All probably right. a good time. Okay. <laughs> All right. Have a good night, guys. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye.